again, Mr. Independent Lou Dobbs. Well, tonight, a swine flu shot or a pink slip. That's the choice facing New York doctors and nurses as the flu season has arrived. New York is the first state to mandate vaccines for medical workers, but some critics say it could be a growing trend. Inez Ferre has our report. Frontline medical workers took to the Capitol steps in Albany, outraged at a new state rule that requires hundreds of thousands of medical workers to get the seasonal and H1N1 swine flu shots. Otherwise, they could lose their jobs. Why am I, as a health care giver, being denied the very choice we give our patients? I mean, that's, that doesn't make any sense. We need to be able to uh, keep our rights and uh, mandates need to stop now. The regulation says that health care workers must be vaccinated for influenza by November 30th. That includes hospital, hospice, and home care workers, unless it would be, quote, detrimental to the recipient's health. Vulnerable, unimmunized people come to hospitals, and they ought to have an assurance that the hospital workers have done everything they can to protect them, and the best protection is to have them immunized. But vaccine watchdog Barbara Lowe Fisher worries that there is little accountability if a vaccinated person and get sick. Under a federal law, manufacturers are shielded from liability when they create a vaccine for use in a public health emergency. Do you have the right to be fully informed about the benefits and risks of any pharmaceutical product, including a vaccine, and be allowed to make an informed voluntary decision? I don't think it's appropriate in this country to be forcing vaccination. New York is the first state to mandate flu vaccination for health workers. Other states encourage it. While the CDC supports the measure, it says this isn't the year to implement it nationally. Our sense is that this particular season in the midst of a pandemic is not the time at the federal level where we would start a new mandate along those lines. The H1N1 swine flu vaccine is scheduled to come out in October. And health officials say vaccines are safe and shots for measles and other ailments have been required for New York health care workers for years. This would be just an extension of that. But some health care workers are concerned about their rights, Lou, and they say that they prefer to have a choice. I mean, I've spoken to doctors who say, even if I do take the flu shot, I want to have a choice about it. Yeah, and it, what's really important here is this is the first time this flu shot this flu vaccine has been uh, available uh, there's a, not much experience with it there's a lot of uncertainty about it uh, these are professionals uh, they are serving the public interest uh, they seem to me to be amongst the last people who should be denied their their rights as american citizens uh, to make uh, up their own decisions and can govern their own lives yeah that's what some people say when the healthcare professionals don't want to do it then well you have questions there all right thank you very much appreciate it